Hey everyone, Thor and Smash here, and today we're going to talk about some of the issues playing Apex Legends. We went over this a little bit yesterday with the ranked issues, but things seem to progressively be getting worse, which is a shame because Season 22 brought us so many cool new things. However, it seems like whenever we get a cool new thing, something else completely breaks or makes the game unplayable. So we're going to talk about what exactly is going on, what are some of the issues, and when is this finally going to be resolved? We're also going to go ahead and give out a Bangalore Heirloom Recolor. All you have to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill without further ado let's jump into today's topic so even before season 22 of apex legends started it was kind of already almost doomed from the start we had that entirely huge battle pass changing system that just did not work out there was a lot of controversy around it and a lot of players left the game and said that they were going to boycott it now of course respawn went ahead and reverted that but that was clearly a sign of things to come for apex legends and it's kind of sad to see because if you look at the same charts which we've done the last couple days it is continually not recovering despite the fact that there was a brand new collection event a brand new map and also dual modes and beaks and character buffs and nerfs this is actually crazy when you look at peak players because the only month that this season has actually beaten was july which was the very very tail end when everyone was boycotting it and it actually only shot up about forty thousand or fifty thousand players or so whereas every other month all the way back to April, absolutely dwarfed this season, which is crazy to see. And it's not hard to figure out why all this is happening. I mean, there's the whole ranked being disabled and this is the second time it's happened. You can't even get into ranked. They fixed it. Play Apex went ahead and put out an update on Twitter saying they're working on a fix to restore ranks and RP to players, but it wasn't even ready in time when they launched a brand new collection event, which may have been a little bit tone deaf to go ahead and sell players a bunch of new cosmetics, a Bangalore heirloom recolor, yet players could not even access one of the most popular modes which is ranked of course you can only do certain things they did also go ahead and bring quads back which i actually will say i am a fan of quads but players are upset because there's no option to play duo still it's been gone pretty much all of season 21 and is now extending into season 22 it would be nice if they just went ahead and actually just added another playlist feature if queue times are a little bit longer that's just something that players might have to deal with but it seems that they really really want to go ahead and do that you can go ahead and look underneath that tweet where ranked isn't fixed and backpack gg actually makes a good point there's no ranked no duos no trios no arenas there's barely a game to play right now but there's tons of cosmetics in the game which once again going into that battle pass isn't a very good look and the player base is getting at an all-time high in terms of exhaustion there's no cursors no looting boxes or managing inventory locked out of ranked and there's no standard br mode to play it's only the revival mode and it's really hard to tell who is using third-party cheating software and hardware and there hasn't been an update to the anti-cheat despite the fact that respawn said that that was going to be something that they addressed going into season 22 and it's kind of also becoming a weird issue where there are a lot of bugs in the game as soon as it launches not only talking about ranked where it feels like respawn hasn't been paying full attention to the updates they're releasing for instance you pointed out with the new quads mode in the game they forgot to remove r99 as a care package weapon it's actually on the ground in its standard form and you can't find the eva 8 in quads how that got past playtesting and just got put in it's such an easy thing not to overlook you went ahead and made care package changes but then didn't have it set up for these new modes you're bringing in. There's another issue in the game right now that Yorotsusuki actually went ahead and let us show where the Qatar, the universal one that Respawn is trying to sell and get people to get, has a pay to win feature actually now on it where you can equip any Qatar, select Vantage or Rampart, switch to Qatar and use your ult. And you can't actually see the laser sight, the minigun for Sheila, or from the Vantage Sniper, which is a huge issue and there's no audio as well. I'll go ahead and play the clip Yorotsusuki put up right now. So as you can see, how does stuff like this get exactly passed? I mean, we know that the QA team has been let off and it's interesting because Andrew Wilson, once again, the CEO of EA has said that they're really excited for upcoming season 22 and 23 and that it is going to see profound improvements in gameplay and modalities of play. 
these seasons will be bigger and more content rich than usual and you know we're giving our teams the time to develop those updates and our expectations is that players will receive them incredibly well but i highly doubt the last two sentences of that quote because if they were giving the teams the proper time to develop these updates, we wouldn't be seeing so many issues with it. And the last one is, well, I would say the player base is not responding to them particularly well because the player base has not recovered, which means that you're gonna have a harder time now to put duos in because the queues are gonna get longer and longer because they're waiting and sitting on it and players are upset and just not playing the game. They are doubling down and it's going to make the situation worse. Speaking of that content rich stuff, we do know that there are gonna be a couple more things going in. Next week, we actually have the Academy Store sale. It features this Loba skin right here. This was uploaded by Ketchup on R5 Reloaded. And it's cool, but I don't know if we necessarily need more store sales for Loba skins. Don't get me wrong, Loba fans, this isn't a shot, but I think there are bigger pressing issues to look at rather than a new store update coming. We also know that there's going to be a Halloween event at the end of the season. There are the Vampire hunter skins they're really cool but again before you go ahead and release these new events that bring us new modes make sure that the game is actually in a working state and players can enjoy the full capacity of apex legends otherwise there's really no point to these events because no one's getting on to play it i will say there is one thing coming and that is og apex and i'm actually really excited about this as a day one player of apex legends getting to see the fast charge helmet come back the fast use gold shield the resurrection buff with the gold knockdown shields the Guardian Angel backpack, and just seeing a lot of the old weapons in the way they used to be, I hope they bring back some of the old maps. And I'm hoping this is a mode that does not actually get messed up because it's just reverting the game to a previous state in a sense. But overall, we're gonna have to wait and see. But right now, the future of Apex Legends, unless they get a serious grip on their game, is in dire straits. Let me know down below, what are your guys' thoughts on the current state of Apex Legends? Are you enjoying the new season despite some of the fallbacks? Or are you, you know, kind of upset that this is going on again for another season in a row? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends content. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the islands. See you out there.